Hi everyone, my name is Ambadi uh, and I am here to talk about free software, press field and KDE. Um, first I will introduce myself. Uh, I am basically working as a full stack web developer and I am also a programmer. I work at a company called Alpha Fog Technologies. Uh, it's located in a small state of Kerala in India. Uh, I am also a member of Free Software Community of India. Uh, you can compare FSCI to Framasoft in France. Uh, we provide uh, privacy respecting services. Uh, we promote free software in India, coordinating various free software communities and all. So the main topic of my topic uh, is about a newspaper in Kerala. It's called Janayugam. Uh, we speak a language called Malayalam in the state of Kerala. Uh, this Janayugam paper is owned by CPI Kerala State Committee. It's a uh, political party. It has almost about 100k readers and it is founded in 1947. So, talking about the background of the story, uh, it started with the Janigam paper's decision to migrate to a, a new advanced technology stack. Uh, the main reason for this is because of their uh, increasing cost of proprietary software. Uh, they weren't able to continue their work, so they were looking for alternative solutions. There are also other reasons, such as uh, the unfriendly government policies. Uh, it was interrupting their industry. Uh, as you can see, in 2019, Reporters Without Borders has ranked India 140 out of 180 countries in the Press Freedom Index. Uh, actually, it's a very pathetic situation. A newspaper and other media are trying hard to survive. So, the first decision of Janegam was to uh, switch to Adobe InDesign, which uh, they already used Adobe PageMaker before. Uh, but as I said, uh, the increasing cost prevented them. Uh, so, checking for alternatives, uh, they ended up with a free software artist called Praveen Adimbratori who suggested them to use Scribers and that's how they came to meet us. As you can see in the photo, this is the Janayugam free software project migration team. Uh, this is the old software stack they used. It consisted of Microsoft Windows. Uh, and ask you to Unicode converter tool called TypeIt, which only works on Windows. They also have other Adobe tools such as PageMaker and Photoshop. Mm. So what we what we suggested them is to use free software instead, of course, including Scribus. Uh, Instead of just switching only the uh, typesetting software, we also suggested them to change the entire stack, including operating system. And the primary choice uh, was KDE-based Ubuntu or Kubuntu. Uh, we suggested that we could develop a custom distro for them based on this Kubuntu. Uh, we chose Kubuntu 19.04, consisting Plasma Desktop, uh, Scribus, and we added a software called Janugam Edit. Uh, previously, I mentioned type, type it, right? Uh, so, uh, as an alternative for it to work in Linux, we developed our own from scratch, a ASCII to Unicode converter, and it's called Janugam Edit. And we also added DIMP and 
inkscape to the stack and these are the other softwares uh, it can go to skate ocular firefox libreoffice flying shot through the actually they were very happy with the new software stack which they have been released to so let me get a little bit back more to the story uh, this is kh hussein from kerala he used to design various custom unicode fonts mm, so in this project his role was to design uh, three different unicode fonts for janayugam till then they only used ascii which was in you know uh, adobe page maker which did in support unicode this kh hussein uh, we call him hussein master uh, along with ashwagan master uh, it was them who contacted us uh, regarding this migration project uh, as the adobe in design wasn't affordable uh, they consulted hussein master first uh, and ashok kumar he is also from kerala uh, who has more than four decades of expertise in that of type setting um, so they came to know about scribes from praveen and they contacted us uh, like i said before we suggested them scribes and uh, a kubuntu based software stack um, our team also consisted of uh, these members as you can see in the picture right now uh, talking from left to most it is kanan uh, right next to him with the uh, one bag uh, she is called sarnya and the one behind her is ranjit sig and next to him is ashogan master uh, and the one in the center with white white shirt is rajaji matthew and we have mujib me and hussein master in the photo this is a core team who worked behind this migration project uh, kanan ranjit sig mujib and ambadi we worked together in alpha core technologies as i said the migration also included migration from ascii to unicode as well uh, three different fonts were developed uh, called t enjoy r sugudan which consists of uh, you know exclusive character set in malayalam unlike in ascii which didn't have that option coming to the voice part uh, why we choose kd the main reason is uh, to be frank it's a familiar ui you know uh, windows people really find it easy to use kd it's very user friendly uh, and it also provide a lot of customization features uh, and scribe as the main software they use for type setting it is in qt and kd uh, integrates well with qt the custom ascii to unicode software we developed it also works in works with kt uh, qt mm. and kd provides plasma widgets which is another cool feature so what we customized a lot uh, is regarding around the plasma theme we customized it to make it unique uh, to give the branding for janayugam uh, the boot animation from boot animation to wall, wallpaper and uh, you know and their theme we changed a lot uh, to match the branding of janayugam uh, and they were very happy with it the plasma splash screen sddm login theme icon theme custom menu icon theme uh, we almost redesigned and their uh, look and feel to make it um, look more unique to them and one of the cool feature they like most is uh, dolphin dolphin features as you know uh, it was entirely new to them to experience the tab to browsing in a file manager uh, on one side we show the demo with a uh, uh, firefox and they compared it to uh, a dolphin sharing the uh, tab 
tab browsing feature and all. With the same shortcuts, you know, control T to open a new tab, control W to close it, control shift T opens uh, recently closed the tab. Uh, they were very happy with it. Uh, and the split view was really helpful to them. Uh, you know, working with the two different directories at a time, switching is very easy with the split view. Uh, the file preview, even text files can be previewed. Uh, they work with the text files most, so you know the content for newspaper. It is easy to preview before opening a text file. And a couple of additional features we added is service menus. Uh, for example, to edit images and uh, PDF files, so we added extra service menus to make it very easy for them. And the uh, network options with the Dolphin to access remote files that is also very handy. Oh, this is a public announcement photo. Before explaining about that, let me say a little more about the background story of Scribus. Uh, many of me, many of you may have been already familiar with it. Scribus is a cross-platform free and open source software for desktop publishing. Usually, uh, I mean, say in the, before some time, it didn't support uh, many languages such as Malayalam we use here. Uh, there was a project called Hosterman, uh, headed by uh, Fahad Al Saidi, uh, who introduced uh, non Latin language support with a uh, you know, complex test layout in Scribus. That really helped us a lot uh, because only after that uh, we, was, we were able to use Malayalam in Scribus. Without that, this whole project would have been even possible. So I would like to thank Mr. Fahad, uh, Fahad Al Saidi and the entire Postman team for their valuable contribution to Scribus. Actually, that is the beauty of free software, you know. People can add features uh, missing. Uh, and uh, the project, we took almost one month to complete the training session uh, for about 100 staff. Uh, it was hands-on session. Uh, we took it in uh, three batches. Uh, everyone went fine because they were already familiar with the desktop publishing system, so it wasn't very hard to train them. The only issue is with uh, the changing look and feel. But as I said, uh, the KDE made it the transition very easy. Uh, apart from just giving training regarding the you know, uh, software stack. We already we also introduced them the philosophy of free software, uh, and we even recommended to uh, upload the images and you know uh, contribute to Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and all. <coughs> Sorry, uh, staff were very friendly and they cooperated with us, with us, and uh, they were very enthusiastic about learning all this. You know, uh, we we talked about Creative Commons license. And all. Uh, we also gave them training in uh, basic, you know, this draw, uh, how to interact with the desktop environment, uh, ending scape, uh, yeah, there were some couple of issues uh, regarding hardware and all because, uh, you know, not all uh, so we don't have free software drivers for all hardware out there, you know, so we had some issues. Uh, <coughs> some of them we solved uh, by checking many online forums and all, uh, but some we couldn't fix and we suggested them to buy new software. <coughs> Excuse me. So after everyone got trained in using Scribus, um, we went for a pilot period of one month, uh, where they slowly transitioned uh, page by page each week. Uh, so it was uh, actually a combination of Scribus and Adobe for some time. <coughs> Once they were confident enough to switch completely to Scribus, uh, we ran for another week. 
and uh, it is on November 1st, uh, the official announcement was done, and it was by Chief Minister of Kerala, Mr. Pinarai Vijayan, as you can see in the photo. Uh, he announced the migration to free software stack and Unicode event. And uh, we didn't support uh, using, you know, uh, proprietary platforms, whether it is social media or even for personal usage. So what we did instead uh, for promoting the event uh, was to share the post across a free software based social media platforms such as, you know, Diaspora and Mastodon. We didn't even have a Twitter account. You know. uh, actually, it is the master uh, diaspora pro, uh, post that you can see here. Uh, and we also shared the content in Mastodon. So from Mastodon, uh, the post really picked up by, uh, I got, got many shares. And even uh, KD officially shared it. We were very happy with it. Uh, that's how we got uh, real exposure, you know. Uh, the, we got also featured on Hacker News. And what made me happy more is uh, FSF officially shared the story. This is the Janegam staff after the first training batch. After the training uh, session and all, uh, there are also a free, uh, also a press, uh, submit, you know, a submit containing many uh, people from different industries, uh, press industry uh, mainly, uh, to discuss about the future of this project. Uh, many were very, really interest, interested. Um, even Kerala government offered support uh, to continue with this project. Um, it is a Kerala Media Academy who organized a, a two-day submit. Uh, and the submit was inaugurated by Fahad Al Saidi, who I mentioned before, uh, who was the lead of Fosterman project and uh, one of the core developers of Fosterman project who contributed to Scribus. Uh, everyone offered all support needed for further development in Scribus and this. Uh, and project. There was also another Scribus developer whom I should mention here. His name is Haleri Moldi. Uh, one experience I would like to share is as soon as we filed a bug report, uh, we got a patch to fix it in you know, overnight. You know, overnight patch. We were able to fix the fix the bug. Uh, the summit also uh, became the venue for the formation of a consortium uh, with the above mentioned representatives and uh, IT experts to promote self-reliance in publishing. The consortium also pro promised to raise funds for further developments. Uh, and we really wish we can implement this in various other newspaper so that you know free software uh, we can expect many uh, any free software based in newspapers so that's the story of Janayugam uh, we hope this inspire many newspaper to come pro come forward to switch to free software and we will be always happy to help. So, the one receiving the presentation in this photo, this is Mr. Fahad Al Saidi. So, I hope my time is over. Uh, the remaining session is left for question and answer. Hi, Ambaji. That was a great, Hi. inspiring talk. I would really like to 
mentioned this to the audience that he was so not well, but he still gave such a great talk. So applause for that. Great work. Thanks a lot. We have a few questions which I'll be reading out. Sure. The first question is, the talk seems to be focusing more on DTP aspect. Do you have online service integration such as Google AMP or news aggregator services? Uh, sorry, no. Currently, uh, there is no online integration, but uh, we are also we are also working on a project called uh, Newflow Management Software. Uh, it will have this cloud integration feature and all, but uh, we are not planning to integrate Google IMP. Uh, we won't. We would like to keep it uh, free software only. Okay. Now the question: Would you mind sharing the action scripts? They could be handy even for blogging. Uh, actually, we haven't developed any action scripts yet. Um, we host our and there, uh, you know, we haven't uh, even tried the full, uh, you know, the software. Um, as I said, uh, the distro was based on Kubuntu, uh, but we haven't uh, shared the repo with, uh, you know, the actual uh, code needed to build the distro instead. Uh, we shared the uh, whatever we customized in a repo so that one can follow it and uh, customize it as they like. Because even if you share, uh, you know, it contains the branding of Genevieve and all. There is no issue with sharing. Uh, the only issue is you will have to remove branding from it. So we just shared the um, tutorial to build the custom, uh, custom distro as they like with all the customizations we have made it is documented it is available in git.postcommunity.in a custom git repo uh, sorry a custom gitlab instance hosted by free software community of india uh, back to the question uh, sorry that we don't have any action scripts to share now okay fine the last question any hard challenges you face during this project uh, yes, actually, the first uh, challenge was to uh, make the staff confident that they can switch to a new software, a new software stack, because everyone was, uh, you know, familiar with uh, the software which they have been using for almost uh, 10 to 15 years. You know, uh, it is really hard for them to switch to a new software stack one day. So, uh, so preparing the staff to work with the new software stack was the main challenge, and. Uh, after we were able to show a demo, they were really, uh, you know, started to gain confidence, and it was relatively easy for them to migrate. And uh, some other challenges we faced was regarding uh, hardware support for, you know, uh, many hardware doesn't support free software drivers and all. Uh, so some print days uh, gave us some issues, you know. Uh, and uh, apart from that, uh, everything went fine. Uh, and there is also issue with, uh, you know, Scribus is not yet uh, fully, uh, you know, we can't compare it with Adobe InDesign. Uh, it still needs a lot of development and we are uh, working on that. We have a matrix room. Uh, with the Scribus developers, we are discussing the changes we need, and they are very friendly. And I hope it will become an uh, advanced tool soon. We hope the same too. Thank you so much, Ambadi. Thank you for the great talk. Thanks a lot.